Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is going to be about saving money. Now, if you've been following this channel, then you know recently I've been doing lots of videos on how to reinvest your profit, um, videos on how to pay yourself as an entrepreneur, videos on how to pay down your debt, um, boost your credit, and things like that. I wanna make sure that we're all in a good financial place, uh, that we're all making sure that we're moving forward in life and that we're just getting the things and, and accomplishing the things that we want to do. Uh, so today I'm going to go over savings. Um, as you can see on the screen, it this savings is, it's a, there's a challenge associated with this savings. It's called the 52 Week Savings Challenge. So before we get further into the video, if you are interested in saving money, uh, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into this video. So this challenge is a challenge from debtrecalculator.com. I will have the information linked below this video. Um, so definitely go to the website. I also created additional videos about debtrecalculator.com um, and I'll link those videos below this one as well. So I'll put them in chronological order so that you can watch the first video, which kind of explains what Debt Recalculator is, how it can help you get out of debt, how it can also help you manage your finances. And then I have um, another video on there just showing you how to navigate the debt recalculator uh, once you do sign up. And then uh, this is my third video. This is the video going over how to save money during the 52 week challenge. So if you're wondering what the 52 week challenge is, I'll go ahead and scroll down a bit. That way you can read more information about it and I'll read um, some information out loud. So the 52 week savings challenge is a savings method made popular on social media as a way to incrementally save a small amount each week into a savings account. The concept is to start out small and work your way up. The very basic plan is this. Starting on the first week of the year, save $1 in a savings account. The next week, save $2 and so on. At the end of the year, your last payment of $52 will give you a grand total of $1,378 in your savings account. The idea is that you'll be able to easily adjust to saving more and more as the weeks go by. The small payment increments help ease the expenses into your budget. It works best if you have a dedicated savings account set up for the plan. And so... Um, if you do click on the link down below this video, you'll be able to read all this information in case I am scrolling too fast or too slow for you. You can pull it up and go at your pace. But I think this is going to be really helpful for a lot of us. Um, I get so many questions about how I pay myself as an entrepreneur. How can you save up money to be able to transition from drop shipping? Um, if you don't know, I do offer drop shipping services for those looking to start up their hair businesses. And, um, you know, people are wanting to know how they can save money to grow their business or transition their business um, or even start their business. And so saving, saving, savings is something that I always recommend. Um, as I'm going over why I recommend savings uh, or you having a savings account, um, take a look at the screen because um, I still am going to be scrolling down so that you can see more information. So a savings account is really important to have no matter what point you are in your life. You know, if you're at the point of your life where you're wanting to build credit, if you're at the point of your life where you're wanting to um, get your, your credit and finances back on track, if you're at the point where you are wanting to start a business or, um, you know, you have a business, but you're wanting to expand, savings is important because it gives you contingency. It gives you uh, the option to breathe. For me, it's, it's imperative because I need peace of mind. I need to know that if I don't receive how much I project project it from my business, I'm still going to be able to live comfortably. Um, it's also important when you're working a nine to five because anything can happen. Um, if you are let go of your job or if you are your hours are cut or if you decide that you cannot work there any longer, any you know, whatever may happen, unexpected life events uh, is, is one of the reasons why you should have a savings account um, you know, on standby. And so if you look at the screen, it shows you how your account will look if you do accept the 52 week savings challenge. Um, so pretty much it has like a nickname or build nickname description section. Um, and in that section, it's going to be the savings challenge. And then you can also choose your default amount. So how much you are wanting to start off with. Remember, um, the whole idea behind the savings challenge is to be able to work your way up. Uh, to more. Work your way up to a higher savings so that you can have at least 1378 saved up for you uh, when the year is complete. Now, you can always pay more. You don't have to stick to, you know, the, the dollar starting out for the first week and then the $2 for the second week and so on. You can choose what's going to work best for you. 
I remember when I was working uh, at a credit union and I was a a loan officer there, uh, I would have so many people calling in looking for loans. And um, the reason that they needed loans was because they didn't have any contingency. Maybe they had gotten let go of their job or they expected to receive a check from some other place that they didn't receive. Um, You know, you just hear so many different stories and my heart would really go out because I would feel so, I would feel so, so bad. You know what I mean? I would feel bad that, um, People weren't able to live their life comfortably and freely because of cash restraints, because of income restraints. And so I learned quickly working in that industry that it's imperative to have a savings. And we did lots of training where we learned how many Americans um, were living paycheck to paycheck. You know, how many people in America that's where we, we kind of studied as far as for, you know, the credit union that I was working at. And it was so many people. I don't remember the exact percentages, but I know that when I was in that training class, I was completely shocked because I didn't know. They asked the question. I think we all had to um, like raise our hands or like, uh, I don't know if we had to write on a piece of paper, but in training, they asked the question and they said, how many, what percentage do you think um, fits this scenario? And they asked, you know, a question of, you know, how many people do you think uh, they got fired today would be able to pay their bills the next month? And I'm thinking that, you know, the number is going to be a lot higher than what the reality is and what it, you know, what it was and what it is. And so if you don't have a savings account built up, if you are someone and you're like, you know, I don't have enough money to even be able to start saving, consider this challenge because it does allow you to work your way up. Um, It's not asking for tons of money. It's not asking for you to go ahead and put a lump sum of cash down. There are some savings accounts that require a certain amount in order to reap all the benefits. And, you know, I just think that being able to kind of match your your budget to what works best for you and actually grow with the payment plan, not even with the payment plan, but with the savings plan, um, it's going to be beneficial to so many people. Now, you also can track your progress, which I really like. So if you take a look at the screen, you'll be able to see um, the date uh, the, the amount that you are paying in for the challenge and also the balance left. So you get to see all of that information on your dashboard, which is really helpful to me. Um, I'm a visual person, so I like to see where my money is at. Um, I like to, you know, be able to see it. I don't want to have to keep a mental note. I don't want to have to, you know, um, rely on different notes that I, I wrote to myself. I want to be able to go into a dashboard, log into my account and be able to see how much money I have saved up so far. Another benefit with the debt recalculator um, system or debtrecalculator.com is the fact that it's not attached to any other bank. Like it's not attached to a credit union. It's not attached to any other financial institution. So you don't have to worry about anyone else knowing what you're saving or anyone else knowing that you're on this plan. It's really something that you can customize to what's going to work best for you. And for me, it's kind of like a challenge. If you do have trouble saving, challenge yourself. You know, we challenge ourselves in lots of other areas. There are so many challenges going on on YouTube alone. You know what I mean? So I think a savings challenge is really fitting, especially now that a lot of people are getting back to work. A lot of people are looking into starting their own business. You know, a lot of people are just wanting to become more financially aware. And I I really think, you know, my recommendation would be to use this system, this service, this tool simultaneously. So use the tool to help you um, pay off your debts. Use this tool to help you keep track of the bills that you have. Um, I mentioned in, I think it was my first or second video, um, on how you can add in miscellaneous bills to this tool as well. So it helps you keep track of like your cell phone bill, your cable bill, your internet bill, um, anything, any bill that you have or that you're paying that you want to keep track of, this helps you do that. It also helps you pay off your debt. And not only that, but it can also help you save money on a level that's at your pace, on a level that works well for you. So this is not my first time hearing about a challenge similar to this, um, but I can say the benefit of using the debtrecalculator.com is that you have so many other benefits and so many other uh, tools and sections on the website to really help you grow financially and also to help you get back on track with your credit. And even if your credit is on track, it helps you to maintain your credit. We've I've, I've gone over in other videos how easy it is to forget a payment. And, you know, it just takes a few payments, if not one, you know, sometimes it just takes one to plummet your credit score. And so this is a good service and tool for everyone, no matter what portion or part you are in your life or in your financial journey. So I really hope that this video helped. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.